Every year on the 16th of October we celebrate World Food Day. The date is significant, it's the anniversary of the founding of FAO in 1945. This year is our 75th birthday. Looking back, there have been huge changes. FAO was created out of the ruins of the Second World War, at a time when famine was a very real possibility. Huge progress has been made with reduced poverty, reduced food insecurity and improved nutrition over the intervening period. It seems like 2020 is a year unlike any other. We're facing massive disruption from COVID-19 in terms of movement restrictions and lockdowns and the terrible toll of the disease itself. The pandemic has also had an impact on the food system. Producers have faced real difficulties. Prices are on the rise. The whole food supply chain is affected. We need food systems which help to grow a variety of food, which nourish a growing population and which can sustain the planet. This agenda is at the heart of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. In Syria, we're slowly recovering from a crisis which began in 2011. Millions of people have been displaced and vital infrastructure has been damaged. FAO is actively working to support sustainable agriculture and to help Syrian farmers resume their activities. We're helping to restore irrigation, we're providing much needed inputs and we're training farmers to help them become self-sufficient and no longer rely on food handouts. These farmers are our food heroes. We have other food heroes, the small-scale producers processing fruits and vegetables or making dairy products, the companies and the people working to ensure distribution of food around the country despite the many challenges they face, our implementation partners who help us in our projects on the ground, those donors who support food security projects in Syria, my dedicated and hard-working staff, all are food heroes. Thank you to all of you and happy World Food Day.